Well, that was... great. Really? Yeah. I didn't think that I could have that much fun. And feel this way inside. What way? Um... Uh, well, the way it felt when you won me this teddy bear! I still feel bad I wasn't able to win anything for you. <laughs> I just got lucky, that's all. I'm pretty good at ring toss. Well, I wasn't expecting you to be that good. Still, the game was kind of rigged. I mean, you deserved a bigger prize for getting five rings on the bottles. You don't like that one? No, no, it's not that I don't like it. I just think that you deserve better. <laughs> you're cute when you're flustered. Really? Maybe you haven't been around me long enough then. Because all I ever do is just yell like that and... Uh, um... You are cute. Uh, uh, th th thank you. <clears throat> uh, so, I had fun. Maybe we could do it again sometime? The date! I mean the date! <laughs> of course! <sighs> <laughs> you should get back to your room and get some sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah, it has! <laughs> Night, Zane! Hey! Good night, Nana. <laughs> huh? I know that's you! <laughs> Aha! <laughs> alright, alright, baby brother, you found me! Were you behind there this whole time? Well, not on purpose. I was on the deck when I saw you two coming back. I didn't know what to do, and I didn't want to ruin the end of the date, so I just found a place to hide and hid. Don't worry, I covered my ears and didn't hear anything. <laughs> well, I can honestly say I appreciate that. But why were you giggling so loudly? I've been giggling this whole time. I guess you guys couldn't hear it over the goo goo eyes you were making at each other. Hey! So, tell me, how did it go? Well... It went great for the most part. Good! Uh, that thing with Starry chasing you guys didn't interrupt anything, did it? No, not really. I... Huh? Hey, how did you know about that? Oh, oh, well, I was going to tell you eventually, but it was Ghost. Ghost, uh... Ghost found out you had a date and wasn't too happy about it. Really? <sighs> I knew something was up. Yeah, uh, but hey, uh, don't worry about it. Ghost is all calm now and totally won't bother you anymore. Really? Really? Why don't you go to your room and get some rest yourself? Huh? You lady killer, you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. Thanks, Gareth. I appreciate you looking out for me. And trying to keep your nose out of my business. I'll try. No promises, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Night! <sighs> I'm happy for him. Oh, but the ghost is still all about Zane. I just didn't want to tell him right after his date. He deserves to be happy. I wasn't going to bring that down. I just realized I went on a date by myself without Aphmau helping me all the way through it. Am I maturing? 
I gotta tell Laugh Mow about this! <laughs> So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping now. I have thought this through and through, and I'm glad. I'm glad I was able to get it off my chest. This year, the changes that he must have went through. Then learning about his eyes. I had no idea he had to go through so much to hide them. One small trigger could set them off. That anger. That rage. That isn't Aaron. He's constantly reminded that he's different. Werewolf. We don't accept werewolves into this establishment. What? Oh, Miha, doesn't he look cute as a werewolf? He, he's a werewolf? Even though he's the same Aaron, the same one I love, I just want to show him that I can be a werewolf like him, but also be myself. I want to show him that being a werewolf isn't who he is, but it's just an aspect of his life. He has looked out for me so many times, and now I want to do the same for him. I want to help him see that being a werewolf doesn't change who he is. It's just an aspect of his life, one that we can both share in if he's feeling alone. He's looked out for me so many times. And now, I want to do the same for him. Honestly, I need to be more open with Aaron, just like I was before. I'm glad I was just straight out honest with him. That's right! Good couples use communication to discuss their issues. Lack of communication means problems, and I don't want no problems. No ma'am, get them problems out of my face. I'll be the best girlfriend ever. <laughs> Huh? Z Zane? Hello? I went on a date with Kawaii-chan all by myself. Ha! Really? Congratulations! Thanks. Was it nice? It was. I... Well, first I wanted to brag about how I did it without you. I'm so proud of you! Second, I wanted to thank you and Aaron for... not helping me to do this. Huh? What does that mean? Well, I yell and complain a lot. And I do it because I have you to rely on. And I guess I got too comfortable. I forget sometimes that I have to do things on my own and face my own problems. Well, it's not bad to ask us for advice. But you are right. You do have to face things on your own. Even if you feel that it might upset someone, you have to talk about things. It's the foundation of a good relationship. Sounds like you have some confidence there. I do. Uh, hey, Zane. Do you think we could finish this conversation tomorrow? I'm cooking at the moment, and... Say no more. I understand you need full concentration for cooking. Oh, well, that sounds like the tone of someone I am never cooking for again. No! I love your cooking! <laughs> I'm happy for Zane. And Kawaii-chan. I hope the best for them. If they decide to take things further. <gasps> oh no! I need to turn up the temperature! Is everything alright? Oh, everything is fine! Just a bit overboiling. Uh, do you uh, need any help? I'm good. Besides... I'm making this for you. It wouldn't be much of a present if you were to help. Fine, fine. Well, uh, what step are you on? W well, I just started boiling the water, so... I think it would go faster if I helped. Oh, so you want to cook for me? 
<laughs> I want to cook with you. Hmm. Hold on. Really? <laughs> yes, really. I like this apron. Why? Because I can do this. Uh, suddenly my love for this apron has gone up a little bit. <laughs> 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 What's with the laugh? You're cute when you blush. Are we gonna cook or are you just gonna keep ogling me? I want to make out with the food, which means let's get cooking. So this is your recipe. Teach me. All right. First, we're going to need to beat the meat. <laughs> oh, shut up. You know what I mean. We need to make patties. Here, let me cut it in two and you can take half and I'll make half. Just so you know, I'm it's times really like this with her. So don't you that I don't want to lose. But, you know, you really make giant patties, and while they're juicy, sometimes they're just a little too juicy, and I can't eat all of them. Hello? Hey there. Long time no speak, handsome. <laughs> it's only been a month. That's a long time for people who have been friends as long as we have. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Well, I wanted to inform you that I'll be landing in Starlight in an hour. You what? Michael called me in. Plans got pushed ahead. Further than expected. That's not surprising. There's a lot going on we didn't expect. However... I don't like the sound of your voice. I ran into an old friend of ours. Spit it out, don't play these games with me. Derek. Derek is here. With his son. <laughs> ah, you've gotta be kidding me! This is too perfect! What's even better? His son is dating my daughter now. No way. <laughs> no way, no way, no way. This is even better than perfect. Do you realize the power you have over Derek? I realized exactly that. <laughs> we do indeed have a lot to talk about when I land. I'll be making my way to your place first thing. Let's continue our talks when I land, shall we? All right. Michael will be here too if he doesn't call out again. Leave him be to whatever it is he's doing. He's never let us down once. And we all wouldn't be in the positions we are in today if it weren't for him. Right. See you soon. Oh, Elizabeth? Hmm? Your daughter is here too. She is. Well, perhaps I'll pay her a visit when the time is right. I'll see you soon, Zach. Bye. You want another one? No way. I couldn't possibly eat another bite. I've already had two already. Yeah, well, I've had five. That's because you have a secret black hole in your stomach that consumes everything. Nah, werewolves just eat a lot. <sighs> I mean, you've always eaten a lot, but like, never this much. Is it because of the ears and tail showing? Sort of. Hmm. Still want to be a werewolf? <laughs> yeah. I do. Uh, I wanted to ask you something. Go ahead. Do you feel a little bit more confident now? What do you mean? Well, this is the first time after an awkward conversation that you've bounced right back. Normally you act awkward for the rest of the night, but this time you're facing me with a smile. I guess I didn't realize I did that. A girl with confidence is very sexy. Uh, you're going to kill me with being so straightforward! <laughs> I thought I'd return the favor, since, you know, you're so honest with me. Hey. Hmm? When I asked you to turn me, I wasn't asking just for me. I don't want you to be alone through this. 
I'm sorry if it came off any other way. You know, for a potato, you overthink things way too much. <laughs> you know... I didn't read too much into it. You said what you said and you were honest. I've been thinking about it and... When I'm ready, I'll let you know. Good! <laughs> mm, speaking of potatoes, uh, we forgot to make the french fries. Oh yeah! Hmm, guess it's time to put you in the oven. Ah! Aaron, stop! <laughs> <laughs> You weren't bluffing! You're actually here! I don't joke about vacations, darling. But this isn't a mere vacation. No, it's not. Nor is it for you. Never said it was. So, before I allow you in, where is the kid? He's being restrained in one of the warehouses near the port. He'll be joining us soon. Now, let's sit. I want to ask you a few things. Michael couldn't make it, I assume. Yeah, well, haven't seen him in a while. He'll show up when he shows up. <sighs> well then, there's no point in me flying out so quickly. If he isn't even going to show up to his own meeting. So, how about a bit of small talk, hmm? Tell me, your daughter. She's getting married to Derek's son? He's going to ask her, if he hasn't already. Oh, that goes through. That makes it so we have the upper hand on Derek. Garte, though. He's another problem. Yes, but Garte isn't here. So no need to worry. How long has it been since you've seen your little girl? Uh, 20 years. Left when she was young. Never bothered to visit. <laughs> Silvana never wanted to tell her about her lineage. Why on earth would she hide that from her? Because even though she's my daughter, Athmau never inherited my traits. Not a werewolf? Nope. Nothing. She's simply a basic human. That sucks for her. No wonder your wife wanted to hide it. That and you were also a jerk to Silvana. <laughs> That's really none of your business. Oh, come on. Get over the past. What's done is done. It's not like you could do anything about it. Hmm. <laughs> you know, your ex-husband is here too. You really had to pull that card, eh? It's fine. It honestly doesn't matter. He's not going to get in the way of our plans. Plans? There's more than one? Of course. Which is why this little get-together is so worth it. There are more things in motion then you can wrap your head around, Zack. And if it all works out, we will get everything we ever wanted.